Salute! Ciao, buonasera. I'm Denise from the Bauer Tours. I am a Rome loco and a food and wine lover. I'm about to enjoy my favorite time of the day. This is the aperitivo time. But I cannot do this alone. I need to invite a friend. She's Fernanda. She is an aperitivo expert. Ciao, Fernanda. Buonasera. Buonasera. Today we're going to enjoy aperitivo time. What is the aperitivo you say? It's that blissful moment when you finish work and you start enjoying your personal time. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's do it. We are at Enoteca La Vite. This cozy Enoteca doesn't have a big wine cellar or an extensive food and wine list, but it's definitely a local favorite. They have a great natural wine selection and some small bites to get us started with the aperitivo in this neighborhood. So now we're going to try to get a table outside and we're going to have our aperitivo. Allora, vorremmo due calici di bolla naturale. Salute! 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 Enenoteca is a place where you can uh, get a glass of wine, you can get a bottle, but you can also buy a bottle if you have some friends that are inviting uh, you and you need to bring something, you can get it here. The difference between getting it here and getting it maybe in a supermarket is that this has been hand-picked by the owner, in this case, Julia. So you will get a very exclusive and special bottle of wine. This very place is focused on natural wines. We know that natural wines are a big trend nowadays, but it's actually the way that human beings have been making wine for thousands years. This natural wine, this sparkling wine we are having now is made out of the same grape, glera, that the Prosecco is made. Ah, delicious. When in Rome, try to explore the many varieties of sparkling wines we produce, especially the natural wines. We always like to eat something when we drink. This way we don't get tipsy too quickly. So, Starting the aperitivo with something small could be a good idea. Like, in this case, olives, chips and lupini. Do eat it with your hands. I love olives for aperitivo. For me, it's just the perfect pair with the sparkling wine. I love the sparkling wine, though. This aperitivo is going to be a standing up, a very casual aperitivo in a very popular bar right behind us. This is a place where a lot of locals, but not only, also a lot of tourists are gathering here. What is the national sport in this square? People watching. If you come here from the morning to the afternoon, you're gonna see people playing cards, you're gonna see locals. You're gonna see people falling in love. There are a lot of things going on here and we cannot wait to show you the place inside. Andiamo. Buonasera. Fatti due spritz. Uno apero, l'uno campano. Molto bene. Spritz is actually not a drink from Rome. It comes from the northeast of Italy, more specifically from Venice. And originally that area was under the uh, Austrian domination. When the Austrians were there, they were more used to beer and they found their white wine a little bit too strong. So they were asking for a spritzen, which means a splash of sparkling water or a water to dilute a little bit this strong white wine. At the very beginning of the last century, Venetians start to add bitter insides such as uh, Apero, Select, Campari, because for them it was very important to make it more alcoholic. I'm having a Campari spritz. Uh, this is a little bit more bitter and a little bit more alcoholic. Mine is Aperol, which is a little bit more sweet and definitely alcoholic. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> Io un 
c'è Alice di Bianco? Bianco un po' secco, leggermente occupato. Secco? Eh, un bianco secco, una bella acidità e una bella sapidità. We are at La Latteria. This is another uh, super local place. We are on a side street of Trastevere. It's a little bit more quiet. And this place is very special because everything is served in this place is handpicked by the owner, Antonio. And all the waiters and the personnel working here is very prepared to accompany everything that you eat with the perfect wine. We are drinking today a natural wine. It's a Sauvignon and uh, we are always talking about natural wines. It is absolutely delicious. We have two bruschette here to accompany our wine. One of them has burrata and anchovies. The other one has lardo and honey. The fat part of the back of the pig that is surrounded by a very strong muscle. It comes warm, so the fat of the lard will melt a little bit. This is a bruschetta with burrata and anchovies. The burrata is a very fresh cheese that comes from Puglia region. It is a mixture of mozzarella bits and cream placed on top of a crusty bread with the savory anchovies on top. Our next drink is going to be a delicious craft beer. Yes! Andiamo! Let's go! Our next aperitivo won't happen in one place. We are going to get our beer from one place that is super famous for their craft beer and we are going to get the food from a different one. They are going to bring it to us while we are sitting in the street drinking our beer. So this is uh, the list of beers they have. It does change pretty often. What we're getting is a craft beer from Italy. It's called Vento Forte, which means strong wind. We're going to give you more explanation about why we're ordering beer and not wine in Italy. Grazie mille. Wow. Ciao. Volevamo una lasagna fritta, ci sediamo al macche. Ci vediamo al macche. Grazie mille. Ciao. The real local way is that you get your beer and you just sit here and again you do people watching. Grazie mille. Grazie. Now it's time to unveil you what we ordered. This is insanely good. This is fried lasagna. Layers of pasta, meat sauce, together with tomato sauce, bechamel, and mozzarella, then it's breaded and deep fried. Have you ever thought about something more delicious? A fried lasagna together with a fresh beer is the perfect beer ever. The world of craft beer in Italy is huge. We have a lot of options and we have great pairings for beer. We tend to pair fried food with craft beer. And everywhere, everywhere in Italy, we will produce some kind of a craft. I hope you enjoyed this aperitivo adventure in the Trastevere neighborhood. And I want to thank my aperitivo buddy, Fernanda. Thank you. Keep watching for more foodie videos. Ciao, ciao. Bye.